like to give the floor to the distinguished representative of the Space Generation Advisory Council for her statement. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Distinguished delegates, I would like to start by congratulating you on your election as chair of this committee. It is my pleasure to address you and briefly update the subcommittee on the recent and current activities of the Space Generation Advisory Council, or SGAC. Established at Unispace Plus 50 in 1999, SGAC has now over 15,000 members and alumni from over 150 countries. And it has successfully carried forward its activities of non-governmental, non-profit organization and network in minute representing students and young professionals to the United Nations, space agencies, industry and academia. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. We know how much these historic events have influenced us and how much it keeps echoing in our actions every day. Alongside the first human steps on another celestial body, this year we could not be more happy to celebrate the 20th anniversary of SGAC as well. Since the last legal subcommittee, SpaceGen and its members have been involved in and are currently working on various activities and initiatives within the organization. Last February, SGAC and UN USA committed to work jointly to support young people in line with the Secretary General's Youth 2030 strategy launched in September 2018. Together with UN USA, we launched the Global Space for Youth competition aimed at engaging youth in the discussion on how space science and technology can be used to achieve the SDGs. SGAC and UN USA received a total of 137 applications from more than 45 different countries. After the first round of selection, 28 candidates moved forward to the second round and submitted a full paper on the contribution of space to an SDGs of their choice. The finalists of the competition will be announced during the SGAC UN USA side event on Thursday from 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. in Bangram D. At this point in the year, we have completed two of our global events. Last April, SGAC hosted the 8th Annual Space Generation Fusion Forum in conjunction with the 35th Space Symposium in Colorado Springs, United States. Under the new two and a half day expanded format, delegates were able to increase the time they spent with industry leaders, as well as the time they got to spend with each other, future industry leaders. SGAC was able to bring on 78 students and young professionals from 17 countries, along with 50 speakers. The outcomes of the ACE Fusion Forum will be presented tomorrow afternoon to this committee during a technical presentation. We would like to thank in particular Space Foundation for their support in making this event possible. Early May, SGAC hosted the fourth SGX event in Washington DC in conjunction with the Satellite Conference and in partnership with the Future Space Leaders Foundation, which features TED Talks on the journeys and perspective of space sector leaders. We welcome around 100, and 100 participants and 16 speakers. We would like to thank Mrs. DePipo for joining this event and share her story with the attendees. Both events showed incredible growth in size, number of scholarships available and number of applications, with delegates that showcase diversity in gender, nationality, as well as educational and professional experience. The organization is now working to plan the 18th Space Generation Congress, or SGC, in Washington DC this October. The SGC 2019 will be held just prior to the 70th International Astronautical Congress. It will host 150 students and young professionals from around the world, 45 countries represented last year. 80 of them will be supported by a scholarship to attend both SGC and the IEC. Current and former partners include many of the world's space agencies, major industry players, non-profit organizations and academic institutions. The event offers the next generation of space sector leaders from government, industry and academia the opportunity to come together to exchange views on current pressing space topics via interactive working groups. Topics will include space for global health, post post-ISS activities in Leo, development of lunar surface mission objectives, space for the SDGs, and much more. The program will also allow these top delegates to network with each other, as well as with today's current space leaders, who will be speaking and moderating the discussions. 
SGAC is keenly looking forward to the outcome of this event, and it will be presented to you, distinguished delegates, during the UN COPOS Scientific and Technical Subcommittee next February. SGAC is also very proud to announce that a new policy action team has been formed. The team will work to solicit, collect, and shape inputs and needs of our members in order to draft position papers, policy briefs, and recommendations, which will address SGAC stakeholders, international organizations, and space policy making for us, such as UN COPOS. We believe this is an important step forward in voicing the perspective of students and young professionals in the space sector around the world. We would like to invite you to reach out to the team as we are open to advice and even more to invitations to cooperate and deliver the space gen perspective on space matters. Two of our project group, the Space Technology for Earth Application and the Space Medicine and Life Science project group have come together with a proposal for a space technology hackathon to draw SGAC members into interprofessional and multidisciplinary groups linking problems relating to the SDGs with potential solutions by space sector partners. The hackathon will be held on Sunday 20th of October, right before the IAC. If any delegations wishes to be involved, please reach out to us. The success of SGAC's activities during the first quarter of 2019 would not have been possible without the support of our international partners and sponsors, including UNUSA, the IAF, Lockheed Martin, Airbus, NASA, UAE Space Agency, Secure World Foundation, and many others. Thanks to our key partners and sponsors, and even more to our tireless and enthusiastic volunteers, SGAC continues to work hard in the space sector, collaborating with many other organizations around the world, and very proud of being the voice of students and young professionals in the space community. We look forward to discussing SGAC outcomes and events with the subcommittee's delegates. We invite you to engage with the young professionals and students from your respective country, and to encourage them to join us. Please come speak to us if there is the desire to learn more about SGAC activities. In the meantime, I thank this subcommittee and the distinguished delegates for their time and attention. Thank you, Mr. Chair.